What's up guys? This is Soundwave Jordan here and we are back once again with another video. And this time we got some Star Wars Battlefront news to discuss. That's right guys, we have some brand new news regarding Star Wars Battlefront and it's regarding the Outer Rim DLC. That's right guys, for those who do not know, the Outer Rim DLC will be launching later on this month and it's the first content drop up to season pass for Star Wars Battlefront. And as you guys know, Star Wars Battlefront has been controversial in a way in terms of lack of content and season pass distribution and well the fact that we actually have the season pass content finally dropping of course we're going to be getting well of course it's going to be getting a lot of attention so let's discuss it as always let's discuss the heroes maps and weapons and yeah let's go <clears throat> star wars battlefront auto rim dlc includes new maps weapons and heroes Details have been released for the first of Star Wars Battlefront's announced DLC add-ons. Called Auto Rim, the pack includes two new maps, a new mode, new weapons, and two playable heroes. The first map takes place on Sullis, a planet known for its lava flow and manufacturing plants. In the second players, wow, I can't read, I'm sorry. <laughs> in the second, players will engage in closer range battles inside the palace and garage of Jabba the Hutt. Okay, the planet Sullis. Extraction is a new capture the flag like mode in which the rebels have to fight to deliver a resource shipment to their transport before time runs out. Those on the Empire team will have to stop them from making the delivery successfully in order to win. Two new playable heroes include the Celestian rebel Nian Num and the Rodian bounty hunter Greedo. Additionally, those who purchase the DLC will have access to the Relby V10 rifle, the DT-12 blaster pistol, and scatter gun, deoxys grenade, and adrenaline stem cards, star cards. Those new star cards can be collected and used in battle. Alright, so, Greedo and me and Nub. I'll let you guys know my thoughts on it after I finish the article. Outer Rim will be available this month and accessible to those who purchased Star Wars Battlefront's $50 season pass. Several other DLC releases are planned for 2016, including ones taking place on Bespin and the Death Star. Read IG and Star Wars Battlefront review to learn more about the multiplayer base intergalactic civil war and mayhem. Alright, so we we got new maps, of course, so maps taking place on Sullis, and we have another map which is going to be taking place inside the palace and garage of Jabba the Hutt. We also have a new game mode. We also have new weapons. We also have new star cards. And of course, we have new heroes. Dot, dot, dot. Now, as you guys know, I uploaded a video sometime last week stating that it was possible, possible, there was a possibility that Nian Love and Greedo was going to be playable in the Outer Rim DLC because, well, um, EA and DICE dropped some concept art of the Outer Rim DLC. And you can see those two characters leading the charge for both teams. And well, um it was it was a bit it was a bit odd. Why? Well, it's the fact that why are these characters being in the game? Okay, okay. Greedo, it, Greedo, it makes sense, you know, because since Dice is going to be focusing on the original trilogy, there isn't much there isn't much you can do with the characters on the Empire side. However, on the Rebel side, there are plenty of characters you can use. Plenty. You have Obi-Wan, you have, you have Obi-Wan, you have Yoda, you have Chewbacca, you have Lando, and I'm, I'm pretty, um, Admiral Akbar, you can use him too. Like, there are so many char characters you can use for the Rebel side. And the fact that they chose me and Nub over Chewbacca or Obi-Wan or Orlando? Um, I don't know about that. I feel that was a very bad decision, at least in my opinion. Technically, you can already play as me and Nub. The Celestian skins are already available to the Rebel side, so technically you can already play as them. Don't get me wrong, I know me and Nub is an iconic character for the Star Wars franchise, but you guys have to think about this as well. The fact that the fact that that Chewbacca was was wasn't placed before Nia Nub is very very shocking. Now with Lando, it makes sense. Lando, he's gonna be played in the um, Cloud City of Bespin, 
it, you know, that's that's obvious that he's going to be that character for that DLC. But the fact that me and Nub made it into the game before Chewbacca, at least, at least, or Obi-Wan, I highly disapprove. Chewbacca was a major character in the original trilogy, such such as Obi-Wan in, in A New Hope. And it's very, very shocking that they're going with this route. Now, with Greedo, it makes sense. Like I said, there isn't that much characters you can use for the Empire. But me and Nub over Chewbacca or Obi-Wan? Uh, I don't know. And the Celestian race is already available for playable usage in, on the Rebel side. So it's a bit shocking that they actually chose me and Nub. Besides all these other characters, you know, it's very, very odd. And honestly, I feel like this was a bad decision in terms of, in, in terms of, well, making, making a proper DLC, DLC choice. At least in my opinion, I really feel like this was a very bad decision. But I would love to know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Like I said, Nian Nub, we know he's an iconic character. We know he's pretty awesome, but... The fact they chose him over Chewbacca or Obi-Wan. Lando, I already know they're going to be saving him for Cloud City DLC. But they could have chosen Chewbacca or Obi-Wan for, for, um, for this DLC. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. I would love to gather up your opinions and stir up a strong discussion. Because this is rather surprising and very disappointing in my opinion. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. With that being said, though, guys, thank you guys for watching. As always, if you guys would like to leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you like you enjoy my content and will enjoy any other future things. I upload gaming news and I currently follow all Star Wars Battlefront DLC news in the season pass. So if you guys want to hear all your information regarding Star Wars Battlefront season pass news, hit that subscribe button because I will be here to give you guys as much information as possible regarding Star Wars Battlefront. With that being said, though, guys, thank you guys for watching. Once again, like I stated before, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. Once again, this is Sawi Jordan here. Peace, late, and have a lovely day.